I am Carlo Aguilar, 33 years old. I am an urban farmer, promotes organic farming, and an advocate of farm-to-table lifestyle. I've been doing sales and farming at the same time. I've been in the life of the corporate world for almost a decade. Every day you talk to, to the board of directors, to the presidents, and now I am going to the farmers. orders ng Dali. mga pictures ninyo. So far, maganda yung ano nyo. Palakpa ka naman natin, sarili natin. Siyempre, <laughs> maganda. So of course, magaganda yung mga nagtatrabaho. Kaya yan. <laughs> Kasi lang yung baboy ng tatay ko, yung kulay puti, ipasok niya dito. Oh. Nagkakagat niyan, pinagtulungan. Oo, oh, ang lalaki yung suka. Kaya kami, iwas, na, iwas doon sa panangal. One concern that I see in the agricultural sector of the Philippines is that most of the farmers are already old. They know how to grow food, but they also have to understand financial skills on how to compute their cost of production. They don't even know the price. In last year, there was an increase in the price like 1,000 pesos per kilo. The people who really earn from this price increase are the middlemen not our farmers. I had to wake up very early to plant seeds, to deliver vegetables to stores. Ito yung tanim, ha? Wala akong pangsigang, yung ano lang, yung labuyo. Ah, okay. Oh, may roots na dito sa baba. Kaya, this needs to be transferred asap. Oo. Oh. I really want to be an agripreneur doing business in agriculture. My priority is being happy, having a peaceful life. And that's what I always wanted to have. Follow your passion. It will make you happy. No more chance. This is it. Today is my last day. The team is here just to para maayos po in transition. Andyan po si Dea, andyan po yung boss ko. And I just want to say thank you to everyone. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'll be back. May mga dried flowers ako nakikita. Um, tanggalin nyo na, pero kailangan nyo nang itanim ulit. Tandaan nyo ulit ha, yung, yung flowers, importante yan dahil um, ito yung para mag-invite ka ng beneficial insects. Yung bubuyog, butterfly, ladybugs. Kasi yung beneficial insects, sila yung papatay dun sa mga peste. On my consultancy services, we have this turnover process after one year where we give the manual to the farmers, which they can follow. But we really want people to become independent by themselves of doing the good practices by themselves, without me. Another business model that we have is the consultancy client that we work with is an island in Koron. It has been a challenge for them to get food, but they also have a farm close to them. And what I did is uh, I trained the farmers on how to grow the food based on the menu of the chef. And then we deliver the necessary vegetables to the island. Everything in that farm is freshly picked and delivered to the kitchen. So for me, it's very important if it's naturally grown when it's organic because I can say what I eat is fresh.
I cannot imagine eating a leaf, this one, knowing I just sprayed chemicals this morning. I cannot eat that, but right now, I can eat it right now because I know it's clean. My main goal in doing farming is really to teach first the farmers on how to do business in farming. I've learned a lot as an employee yeah. uh, in handling a business, in growing a business, mm -hmm. and I was able to use those skills. Then my wife would ask me, hey, would you like to move into Canada with your brother? <laughs> and I, w I always tell my wife, if we leave the Philippines, then who would help the farmers? After saying goodbye to everyone, it, now it, it feels better. Now everyone knows. Tomorrow will be the new chapter of my life. So that has been the goal ever since. I want people to have their own vegetable garden, teach them. Now I have more time and I can do that. Well, I can tell myself I'm finally free. I am finally free. <laughs> Take money, I can't understand that concept cause job rules everything around me.